<laughs> Andrew McCart, IFL TV in association with MTK Global. I'm here in Glasgow, ahead of the massive fight for Scotland, maybe even Britain as well. Lee McGregor, how are you, sir? I'm good, I'm good. Uh, all the hard work's done now. I'm, I'm, I'm ready to fight on Saturday, I can't wait. I mean, Cash Farouk, you've been calling for this fight for probably the best part of a year, would you yeah. say, a year and a half maybe, yeah. pushing on. You say you don't want Scotland to miss out on this fight, but we're not missing out. I mean, you've just come face to face with him and nice head to head. I mean, how real does it feel that the fight's almost two, well, it's two days away? Well, there now, eh? all, all the 13, 14 weeks, gruelling, hard training, it's, it's all done. Um, we're we're weigh-ins tomorrow, fight night Friday, right around the corner. So I'm, I'm just excited. I've, I've prepared my body I've, I've so hard, I've put it through hell and I'm I'm ready for whatever he brings on Saturday night. Let's talk about Saturday night then, I mean Cash Farouk, I mean he's, <laughs> this fight is a real 50-50, the bookies have it, some Cash, cash I'm having mm. you, and no, no, I mean, even when I get asked, like people say, obviously you're an Edinburgh boy mm. and stuff like that, but even when I get asked it's like, gosh, it's two yeah. young guys putting their, like, you didn't have to take this fight both of you yeah. this early in your career, but you have. Now, I mean... I spoke to you downstairs at the little cafe downstairs. I mean, we looked at I looked at the Commonwealth belt. So that's a nice belt. When you went to the British belt, it was better. So, is that winning that British title? Is that what this is all about for you? Yeah, hundred percent. I've said it as as a young kid. Um, obviously, I I want to win, be British Commonwealth champion, all all the rest of it. But as a kid, I dreamed and used to watch British title fights. And my dad, me and my dad used to say, oh, especially my dad used to, say, I want you to win that British title, son. And I always remember that. It wasn't the Commonwealth title that he was saying, it was the British title. It's, it's so prestigious, that belt, and there's just simply no way that I'm accepting defeat and I'm I'm not bringing that belt back with me on Saturday. I'm just, I'm ready to go as deep as you could possibly go to bring that belt back home with me on Saturday night. There's just simply no way that I'm I'm accepting defeat for this fight. Now you're talking about the, the, the British title being what this, mean, this fight's all about for you, but I mean, it's got to be the bragging rights as well, is it? I mean, there's two oh, top bantamweights weights in Scotland going head to head against each other. I mean, Scott, Edinburgh v Glasgow, all Scotland clash. I mean, everything's there to make this one of the probably the fights of the year, maybe. Hundred percent. So bragging rights is that something? Yeah, yeah, yeah of course, hundred percent. Obviously, Edinburgh v Glasgow. It's, it's the wee slight derby and all that. Uh, but it's the most important thing is that me and Cash get home safe and well to our families, but. I genuinely do think that we are really going to put on a very, very exciting fight and the crowd are really going to love it. I think our styles are going to gel so well. It's just um, we'll both have game plans, so whoever can stick to their game plan and execute. And I think that's why everyone's so intrigued for that first bell to go, because no one knows what's going to happen. Um, these are the fights you want to be involved in as a fighter. If you're a fighter and you don't want to be involved in fights like this, you're in the wrong game. It's simple as that. I've... I'm loving being a part of this and I, I don't want this to stop so I want to keep going I want to keep pushing on and I want to move on to bigger and better things Again, staying on the British title again I mean, obviously you mentioned as well that the winner goes on for the European title but does the British title mean that much to you that you're going to defend it three times like cash to win it outright or is something bigger comes along the line you're just going to jump at that? Yeah, we'll just have to see I've obviously I've got the right team behind me I've got MTK backing me advising me on what's best to do in my career I've got my coach Grant Smith we we're fully focused on this fight. The the main the main goal is to win this fight, and then I think we'll all, all agree that it's it's time to sit down and, and make a big decision on, on what to do. But it's it's life changing either way. I'm 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 just fully focused on this fight first, and then we'll we'll take it from there. But as you say, the British title is something that I would, I would want to keep. But it's just winning it and then defending it three times, and that it, it takes up another nearly a year. I could be challenging European world titles by then. It's, who knows? Mm -hmm. We don't know what can happen in the sport. But as I said earlier on, I'm going into my eighth fight, and this is my fourth title fight. So, I was just going to mention that. So your next question. We're, yeah. we're, I've showed that I'm fearless. I'm willing to fight anybody. If they weigh the same as me and they're in the opposite corner than me, then and my team put them in front of me. Trust me, I'm I'm ready, and I'll be giving it 100%. Uh, there's a lot of fighters out there that, that don't really want to be involved in these kind of fights and believe me they're, they're genuine and I don't understand it I'm not scared to lose I, that's why I've, I've had the success I am and I'm in the position I am today is because I've been fearless throughout my career and same with Cash to be honest he's, he's, he's 13 and always sort of slightly took his time a wee bit more but we're both 
a credit to each other and our teams for taking this fight so well on in our careers. I'm 22 year old, both undefeated. We didn't have to take this fight, but we both believe we can win. So, on a let's selfish go. point of view, I'm glad. I'm yeah. glad you took the fight. Yeah. As a, as so, ma, I'm, I'm a happy. fan, and somebody's going to be there on Saturday yeah. to watch. I'm so happy that you took this fight yeah. because, again, it's a selfish point of view for me. Yeah, 100%. You mentioned that you're going into the eighth fight, and this is your first, fourth title fight. I mean, another guy that we know very well, Josh Taylor, he won a world title in his 50th 15, pro fight, I yeah. think it was. When you look at somebody like Josh, knowing that how well we know him and yeah. stuff like that, is that. His, is that how fast you want to be fast yeah. I mean, you, you're a lot younger than Josh yeah. when he was seven. Uh, that's what I was going to say. The, the thing is, my career has went very similar to what Josh was winning the Commonwealth title so early on in his career and progressing really quick. But he was 28. Yeah, he's 28. I'm 22. So I do have time on my side, but the, the rate I'm going, I, I'm, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. And obviously, the, the winner of this fight takes a big step, no matter where it is, whether it's European, world. We don't know what opportunities can arise. So... We just have to take each step as it comes, keep my feet on the ground. I've got a good team behind me, I've got everyone I need around me that, to advise me on what's best to do for me, but I just want to get in there on Saturday night. I just want to get the gloves on and I just want to fight. You've been impatient a little bit now. Yeah, just a little. Well, I've got to ask as well, because I know some of the top class spawn that you've had. You've, you've been up to Marbella to fight mm. the WBC champion at your weight, uh, yeah. Nodi no Obali. You've also sparred Mohamed Wasim at yeah. TK Scotland too. Everyone raves about I mean, the yeah. power that that guy possesses and stuff like that. And you've held your own with both of these guys. I mean, how are these spars? Can you meant to talk about them? Yeah, well, I've covered all areas um, in this training camp for this fight. I have had exceptional sparring, as you just said. I've been out sparring world champion for two weeks. Um, if I hadn't held my own and I didn't do well, I wouldn't have been asked to, actually got asked to go out to Paris the following week to help them prepare even more. For the new fight? Is the yeah, new for the new fight because the sparring was that competitive and it was that good. Obviously I had my own fight to focus on, I didn't go. Um, I've covered all areas, I'm, I'm very, very confident that I'll win this fight on Saturday night and we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. Can I add a little bit more sort of maybe inspiration for you going forward? I mean, Scotland has never had two world champions at once. Mm. There's always been like Ken Buchanan, yeah. Jim Watt, yeah. Um, Alex Arthur, uh, mm. Ricky Barnes, Josh Taylor. Yeah. If Josh can keep doing what he's doing and you can progress the speed that you're going, yeah. does that add a little bit more inspiration for you to be like a world champ alongside someone like Josh? <laughs> <laughs> Don't want to put pressure on you, I mean, obviously. No, I'm laughing at that. Clown yeah, behind yeah, you. That's Ian Lee and that's Possibly, good. but it's, again, it's just about being grounded, keeping my feet on yeah. the ground and taking each fight as it comes. This is the biggest fight of my life on Saturday. and win this and then, then ask me these questions well you, you, I will <laughs> I definitely will well, I won't keep you much longer I know you've had a busy Thanks day with me. immediately thank but, you uh, I'll see you tomorrow at the yeah. end and good luck cheers thanks Andy. so much mate thanks mate